Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's session, we will see how to deploy applications using Apache Slider. So Apache Slider is one of the functionality incorporated in the Ambari tool or Ambari console. So let's start to configure the Apache Slider in the Ambari. In order to configure the Apache Slider, you have to go to the admin uh, user logged in section then go to the manage Ambari at the left hand side you will see various views click on the views inside that one of the view is slider we have to provide the instance name for example slider 02 then the name display name and description then you have to provide the Ambari server URL Ambari server username and password once you save, the, once you give this details and save it, it will create instance for you. So I already created one instance, slider view. So along with that, you have to also provide the per users, like admin. If you want any other, you can add those users also, and then save it. Once you do that, you will be able to see the slider view. So currently there is no application deployed in this slider view. So in order to deploy the application, we should have the application module. So let's get one of the application module and we will save on the one of the our file system using the hdfs command. So we have to go to the node one. So we'll go to the node one. So we are at the node one as a root. Let's do the as we are going to make a directory. We have to use the super user hdfs dfs minus make direct uh, hyphen mkdir. Let's check whether this yarn directory present or not there, and then and then we will create ls minus uh, sorry hdfs dfs minus list list usr hdfs dfs minus ls sorry it's minus ls not list so yarn directory is already there so no need to create the yarn directory if it is not then then you can use the make dir command and create this directly inside the user then we have to one more thing we have to do we have to go to the root level and in the root level there is one sys folder or sys directory inside that we have the slider lib slider app directory strange sys ok let's do this oh sys yeah we are there slider lab Oh, there is no directory. Okay, let's try to log in with the yarn. So here, uh, we have again come back to the console. So we have to go to the command prompt. Let me minimize configuration section. Now if you give cd dot sys and cd dot slider lab, let's try it. Okay, so here we go. And we have the application here. So this application we need to send to a yarn directory where our uh, 
for uh, or we can pass this to the some resources app folder where we from where we can deploy the application so we are in the slider lab so the command is look like this let me try out if i have okay so command look like this scp slider s base app package and this is the package name zip file one which i already see here and then we have to pass that to the var lib var lib ambari server resource app but before going to do that or uh, let me try out so it is done we can go to the that direct and check whether the application is present or not it's on the node one as a root and the cd var lib ambari hyphen server resources apps cd var yes here we can see the ambari server let's go to the let's start this oh it's on the node one so we have to go to the node and look at in the directory because if you see it's a root node one and we are at the uh, ubuntu level so that's the reason we are not able to see that directory ambari server resources apps hmm, strange where lib ambari server resources apps yeah here we go here we can do so i can see this directory uh, this application is there next thing we have to do is we have to start the ambari server ambari server is already started so let's do the restart for the refreshing the components once we restart it it will ask to log into the ambari console so we have to do that so it's uh, still waiting to start so now if you if you see here the ambari application automatically logged out so we have to re-log in using the admin user and in the uh, so it is HDFS server is not started yet yarn service is not started so it will take little time to start those component automatically so now it is only remain the yarn we don't have to do any action on that it is taken care while the ambari server restart now if we go to the slider view and here we can create one application so you can see what are the application we have deployed uh, we have copied there so that we can see hbase what are the version 2950 now here we have to provide the instance or the name to the this instance I'll say hbas02 then the queue name I will give that as a engineering the other properties we can keep as it is and click on the next we will also keep this property as it is and click the next click the next verify those components and finish once we do that it will show us the components here if it is properly deployed now it is accepted it is not still running so we have to wait a couple of seconds to start it once in the running phase we can open it oh, okay now it's running we can open it 
and we can see what are the components what are the status these are the components which resides in this um, application and this is the status of each component now in the actions button on that application we have the flex let's run this flex so it is us to update the number a desired instance to each component so we can update the component and we can see the changes so currently edge base region server is one so let's make it as a two and save it at the background you will see all the one one but now the new instance for the edge base region server is created and it is assigned with the value three similarly we can come back and uh, also you can notice here also the components become two Similarly, we come back and revert those changes also by using this command flex. Again, we come back and make it as a same. The next thing we are going to do, how to destroy this app. Suppose you want to no more want this application in your environment. So you have to remove it or you have to uninstall it. In Ambari or Hadoop concept, we can we say it's a destroying the application. So in order to destroy the application, you have to first stop the application. Are you sure you want to stop? Click on the OK. unable to get the list of slider app due to the issue okay so this is fine this is just kind of warning message and now that there is no components are currently available that means application is stopped applications are still there if you go back and if you see in the slider view and already in the slider view let me go to the queue manager and we'll come back to the slider view now the application is still there but it's stopped it is not uninstalled or it is not destroyed so in order to destroy you have to go to the action advance and click on the destroy destroying a slider app could not result data loss if not properly performed make sure you have backed up the data handled by the application so this is very important so it may result in the data loss so if if you if do not want to data loss then do not destroy the application so now once you destroy the application we go from the slider view so this is the way by using slider we can deploy the application in the we can deploy the hbase instance in the hadoop environment i hope this tutorial will help you to deploy the different kind of application or different HBase instance in the Hadoop environment. Thank you for watching my video and do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update about Hadoop. Thank you and have a nice time.